Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello and welcome so today is another video about my favorite pastime which is shopping recently we've been completely loving Shein we've done in the past a few orders from them and I normally just get bikinis but this time around we heard about Shein's new gym wear range and apparently it's very very similar to like the Gymshark leggings which are quadruple the price that Sheen is selling them for. Sheen does like loads of great dupes or like version-esques of designers or more expensive brands. So for example, like the Gymshark leggings, they also do um, shoes that are similar to like expensive designers. And I've actually got three pairs of shoes to show you. Me and my sisters all just did like a little order, well, a little order, a big order, a big three orders. And then I'm just gonna show you guys like the best bits from the orders so again like my last couple of videos if you've been a loyal follower you know that I'm now becoming a proper youtuber and writing down facts so we aren't giving out fake news first of all I just wanted to say we I think in total our basket for like a couple of the shops have been about 200 300 pounds Sheen are doing 20% off on orders over 40 pounds so it really did like cut our baskets spent like total a lot um which was really great and they're doing that I think they're still doing that now, so that is a good um, little thing to grab. So yeah, what I wanna do is like just talk you guys through and show you some of the really great dupes that we found. So first up then, I wanna show you the Gymshark style leggings. So I actually got two pairs of these. I got a pink and a blue pair. So first up then are the pink pair. So I'll just show you them here so you can see the color. Really nice color. They've got like this dotted print on it. Um, I think on the actual Gymshark leggings that actually hold, so they're obviously trying to like mimic it, but they just they haven't actually gone through the material, and they're like all over it. They're all on the back, um, all down the leg. I, I don't know. I quite like that. I think the colour of these are so pretty, like so nice. These leggings then were originally eight pounds forty nine. They were in the sale, um, but then with the twenty percent off, I got them for six pounds eighty, which is a massive steal for a nice pair of gym leggings. I got these in a size small, as I would normally get um, a size small in gym leggings um, or leggings of any sort for any, of any like tight material. But yeah, they are true to size. This is, I'm about, I normally get like an eight if I had to go into like actual sizes and these fit me perfectly. The only thing I would say about these, my sister actually is the one modeling. She noticed when she took hers off that there's actually a hole in the bottom bit where you're Nuni sits. I don't think it was there originally when we got them, so I don't, and she's only worn them once for a little quick workout, so I don't know whether the material is just not amazing that it's broken, but yeah, that's my only down thing. My pair is actually amazing, touch wood, and like, yeah, I really like the high waisted band as well. It's really stretchy, they're like, they are great, and I feel like they'll be quite breathable. They don't feel really, really thick, but they feel quite nice, which it's really good. My next pair of gym leggings are very similar to the first pair, but they are in this gorgeous baby blue color. Again, they've got the same like spotted pattern on them, but yeah, I don't actually know what the difference is on these, really. These th feel a little bit thicker, um, but a nice thicker, so I, like, I feel like you wouldn't get any vpl edge, which is good. These leggings were originally £11.49 and then with my 20% off I got them for £9.19 pence. Again like a massive steal for a really nice good pair of leggings. The same as the pink pair, I got these in a size small and they're, again they're really true to size, they fit me perfectly. Um, and these pair, like I said at the beginning, are a little bit thicker so when you do actually bend over um, when you're doing your squats and stuff, you can't see um, knickers, which is really good. Obviously, that's what you don't want. That's what you don't want? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, you don't want to see any knicker line and you don't in these, which is really, really good. But yeah, colour's gorgeous. Again, the waistband's really super stretchy. So yeah, another great find. I'm loving these. And like, this colour is just so nice. Okay then, so I want to move on now to my favourite part of my Sheen haul, which were my three pairs of shoes that I got. So we'll start originally with my pair of trainers that I bought. Now, I had a fake pair of Alexandra McQueen's, which I've put in quite a few of my videos before. I got them on eBay. I think they were maybe like £20 reduced to like £15 of discount. So really, really, like really good price for a pair of white trainers that actually look a bit designery. Sheen had a pair of white trainers on in the Alexandra McQueen 
style as well. I wanted basically just a nice pair of white trainers and I thought, well, I'm gonna pay about 20 pounds for a pair of white trainers anyway. So I might as well just go and get these ones from Sheen and just see like what they're like. Cause I like the style of the Alexandra McQueen's, but I would never spend, I don't know how much they are, 200, 300 pounds. I'd never spend that on a pair of trainers just to get scuffed up. Like not worth it from my end anyway. So these are my trainers. So I will just show you. They also come at really, really nicely packages. They come in like these little um, protector bags. And then obviously they've got like their stuff inside. I don't really know. So these are the shoes. These are the Alexandra McQueen's. They actually stand on the back, Alexinderle McQueen. So again, very fair, very obvious fake. I really like these and I want to keep, I basically wanted to just get a nice pair of white trainers so I could actually keep them white. I really like the style. They actually have, the bottom of them is very similar to the actual Alexandra McQueen's. And I do like the chunky heel. I just think they look quite fun. These were a really great bargain. These were originally £22.49 and I got them for £17.99. So I just feel like for a pair of white trainers, like I said, you spend about 20 quid on a pair of nice white trainers anyway. So... I'm happy that I've spent like 17, 18 pounds on these and I'm, I really love them. I actually haven't worn them yet, but I will get a lot of wear out of these, especially in summer. Um, so yeah, love these. So my next two items are potentially my favorite items from my Sheen haul. If you've watched any of my other videos before, you would have seen that I often like pair outfits with like slip on mules. I think they're so easy and they look so pretty for like summer or working or like whatever you want to do with them. And they're just a bit nicer than like a flip flop or a sandal. So I like them a lot. I saw these two pairs on Sheen and they just looked really nice. Our Sheen's a little bit difficult to judge. And um, you often have to look at the comments that people have said before and see like what they've said. So for example, the Gymshark style leggings, that's where I picked the ones I wanted because people had written in the comments like, Oh, they're very similar to Gymshark, for example. On their new stuff, or their newer in stuff, obviously there's been less time to get comments and reviews, so maybe that isn't any comments, maybe there aren't any comments. So with these, there actually wasn't any comments at all, so it's kind of like luck of the draw if they were gonna be good or not. But you can kind of tell from the pictures that they put up, like they've got better with their pictures, and also with their quality. Um, I will say that, they, I've had things before, like bikinis before, and they've been really, really nice, but not like amazing quality, but now, they are much better. So what I found are these black and these white pairs on yours and I've actually like labeled them so I can easily pick them out on my wardrobe. I'll show you um, the black pair first. Now these mules are such an amazing dupe of the Gucci mules and I'll put a picture of the Gucci ones in here. They look so identical. So I will just show you. Look at these and the heel. It's hard, like really hard. I feel like that's gonna not, that's gonna last you a long time having these. They're just so gorgeous. Like, oh, I love them. The quality as well feels so amazing. Like, I don't really know how to des describe it. They just, like, look, they're not bendy. Like, I don't know, they just feel such good quality. And I just love how like detailed they are. Like, it doesn't look like tacky, tacky embroidery. It looks really, really authentic and nice. So the black Gucci dupe, Espadrille mules were originally £21.99 pence and I don't think that's bad at all for a dupe of a shoe that's actually £595. I got these with a 20 pence cent off for £17.59 pence. So for £17.50 for these, amazing. I mean, when we go back to the office, I mean, if we ever do, these are definitely going to be worn loads and loads. I just think they can like jazz up an outfit so much and like just make it look more expensive and fun rather than just like plain black sliders, sliders, loafers. But oh, I honestly just can't get over how gorgeous these are. I love them. They're actually my babies. <laughs> That's quite sad, isn't it? Okay then, on to my next pair of mules. Now these um, are slightly less dupey, if you want to put it like that. Gucci don't actually have this color. They stock a white shoe. They don't stock a nude mule. Now, when I've looked at the picture, um, the pictures on like the Gucci website compared to like these, I prefer these, the color of these. I'll put a picture of the white mules in here so you can kind of like have a look. But these are the nude ones that I have bought and I just think they look a little bit nicer. Now they look quite white on the camera, 
but they're not like in pairs and they are li like a little bit more nudie. They're identical to the first pair that I showed you guys, but they're just obviously in this nude color and the light is reflecting. I actually got these in my second sheen like haul. I got the black ones first and then um, these were actually out of stock and I knew I wanted these. Um, but then when the black ones turned up and the quality was so good, I was like, right, as soon as these come back in stock, I'm gonna get them. Again, the hill's like really thick and I feel like that's not gonna, that's gonna last you again like a long time. And again, the embroidery and everything, it's just so detailed. Like, I think that's so good. Oh, I don't know, I just love it. I love all of them. So sad. So the nude ones were originally £20.99 pence. With my 20% discount, I got them for £16.79. Now I think, again, like, this nearly 17 quid for a pair of lovely, like, really detailed slide on mules. Amazing. And I'm gonna wear these again, like, as soon as offices open up again, wear these out. And then I feel like I might even wear these today. Like, we're just going to our friends for some drinks. And I think, like, I don't know, I just love them. I do think as well, like, I've, I've not bought them because I'm like, wow, well, I want people to think they're Gucci. Like, I genuinely just really like the pattern. I actually didn't know they were exactly the same as Gucci when I bought them. It was only when I Googled the Gucci sliders that I saw, like, they were very, very, very similar. They're a little bit different. They, like, make an outfit more fun, like if you were wearing a plain outfit. So yeah, I know, I don't know. I just love them so much. They're so cute and pretty. Okay then, so next item that I bought were some gingham style. I don't know if that's how you say gingham. Is that, I don't know, I don't know. Gingham style longer length shorts. I've actually got them on to be fair. Hang on, let me take them off. Okay, we're back now. So yeah, these are the shorts. They are so, bloody cute like i love these so yeah they've got the gingham style like this yeah it's like a pink and white gingham pattern which looks super nice um really cute for summer like you could wear it with any color top like a white top or even a black top um or if you want to like jazz it up like a different color top <laughs> whoa they are super stretchy as well which is really really nice like, there's an elastic band at the back of the short which obviously makes them a lot more comfortable so if you were like going out for dinner or something um, and you want to put them on or for me I would probably wear these I got them for um, for like a Devon kind of holiday and um, where you'd be wearing where you'd be in the sea and then when you come out the sea I could just put these like slide them on and they wouldn't be like disgustingly tight because there's no elastic so that's a really good pointer from me I'm really shocked actually of this because the quality I feel like on some of the items on Sheen that I've said before um, is a little bit hit and miss. So when I saw these on the website, I loved the pictures of them, but I did think like, oh, I'm not sure what the quality is gonna be like, but you know what, like we'll just order them and see what they're like. They were 11.99 with discount to 9.59. They turned out to be amazing. Like I'm really, really impressed with them. They, they feel really thick. You can't see anything, like no panty lines or anything when you're on the, when you're like turned around or bent over. So yeah, I'm just really, really impressed with these. The sizing of these, I got a small, and because of the elastic, that would be absolutely like fine to fit anything from like, I'm, I'm an eight to 10 normally really on the bottom half, and that's fine for me a small. So again, just make sure you check the size charts because they do kind of um, have like inches and centimeter measurement, measurements yeah, that you can like check out and see if that like, mimics what your size is so definitely look at them small for me was perfect because of the stretch love these and i'm gonna wear them again today actually she has done me well this time i'm gonna put them back on now one sec so the final part of my sheen haul then are three bikinis i'm not gonna try these on and show you just because i don't really fancy that like i said i've done a few sheen orders over the years and i now only really get my bikinis from sheen and i just think the quality of them are so so great and they're so cheap i wouldn't get them from anywhere else i only really wear bikinis like for one summer and then i kind of like get new ones each summer so for me if i got an expensive one it's just really not worth my money because i would wear it for a summer and then not wear it again really which isn't great not very sustainable maybe i will start wearing them again obviously i'm not going to try these on well not obviously i just don't personally feel like i want to try them on but i will show you the bikinis and I'll just talk you through the quality and things because personally if I was looking for bikinis I would find that really helpful if someone had done that so I'll do it for you so first bikini I got me and my sister are actually twinning with this is this um tie-dye bikini so it's like a pink tie-dye pink and like red and white tie-dye and it's just so bloody cute I'll put a picture of what it looks like on the website in just because I feel like 
that's what drew me to it and that's what made me buy it. Yes, yeah, so this bikini was originally £11.99 um, and I got it down to £9.59. So less than a tenner for this like absolutely stunning like bikini. I also really, really like the cup on this. It's not a normal cup um, because you've got this extra big bit here and then this kind of like proper covers it. It's a more conservative cut and I like that. This lighting's really bad. It's a more conservative cut and I just, uh, yeah, I really like it. I just think it just looks expensive as well and like that's, that's a nice like vibe to go for, you know? My only thing with this and it's nothing to do really with the bikini. On the bottoms, my red bit is here and on that is like down on the vagine area and it does in a bit of a weird way kind of look a bit like period. It's not ideal but I mean you can't really help it's tie-dye isn't it but i guess i could like turn it inside out because it's all right on the other side but that's my only really criticism but yeah the color and everything looks so nice and i think with or without a tan it will look really good i will say actually i always get my bikinis in the media if i was shopping in like an actual store and you can pick and mix your sizes i would get like a bigger size in the top half and a smaller size on the bottom but they don't come like that they come in sets well, these ones anyway, they do have separates on the website as well. But yeah, so I just I just go for a medium um, and they're fine with me. The bottoms are sometimes slightly bigger than I would have liked, but I guess you could always do a bit of folding me luck and trying to like sort that out. But yeah, the medium's fine and it's, it fits like a 10, eight perfectly, so fine. The next bikini I got then is this dotted this green dotted one again i'll pop a picture in here so you can just see what um it looked like on the website this one i really really like this one i've kind of gone back into the halter neck like tie up bikini i haven't had any of that style for such a long time and i just kind of wanted to like revert back to that for a couple of bikinis because you can't go wrong with them really can you this bikini was originally 10 pound 49 and i got it down to 8 pound 39 so again another like gorgeous bikini for under a tenner. What I also drew me to this as well is the bottoms. Um, I do really like these tie in adjustable bottoms. It just means that like you can you could get any size, not any size, but like you can adjust it to your specific measurements. So you can have it tighter if you want to make it a little bit skimpier or have it a little bit looser. Like it's completely up to you how you want to do it. Again, I got a medium in this. But yeah, I just really like the colour of this. Green is my favourite colour. And I just think the dotted pattern looks quite nice. I don't really know. I, maybe you can see from the photo that was on the website why I was drawn into it, but it's just really pretty. And the quality is really, really good. I mean, it's just a bikini quality, really. I don't think, I'd, I've never felt bikini and thought, wow, well, this is high end. I really like this one. I love the colors of it. And I just think the dots are a little bit different. And I feel like as well, when I'm shopping for bikinis now, because in the last couple of years, um, we've been like venturing to like Marbella and Ibiza and things. So you do shop and get bikinis and stuff for like pool parties and like beach parties and beach club vibes. So I feel like you could jazz this one up if you had like a fun, like even like sheer top or like a cool skirt or like trousers. I feel like you could jazz up and with some cool like accessories. I don't know. I mean, it's not boring. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like fun and you could make it sexy if you wanted to, but if you don't, it's fine. My final bikini and my final thing I'm gonna show you from this haul is this gorgeous purple bikini. Now purple, I feel like is everywhere at the minute. Like it's literally like the color of the year, I think. Like it's so cool. And like, it's good for me because I love purple. This lilac color is just so pretty. And again, like, I feel like I bloody say this all the time, but it does, I think, look really expensive. On my Pinterest, I actually found a girl kind of like wearing this color, this colour and kind of style bikini lying on the beach and I thought, oh my God, I love that, but I bet it's like really expensive. I'll put that picture in here so you can have a little look, see what I was thinking of. I saw the picture and I thought, oh my God, it looks so nice. And then when I found this, actually I can't take credit for it. Lizzie found it in yellow and then I ordered it in purple. Yeah, when I saw this, I just thought like, oh my God, it's so cheap, I'm gonna get it. It was 11.99, reduced to £9.43 with a 20% discount. All three of those bikinis I've just shown you are under £10, which is just amazing, to be honest. The top's so cool. And then also the back of it is a tie-up, which is really nice, because I feel like then you can, again, have it 
adjustable and put it to your, the tightness and stuff you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, like a clasp. It's not like a clasp, so you don't have to like, necessarily make it like that. Look. I mean, I don't know why I'm showing you that. I feel like you all know what a tie looks like, but the bottoms are just like these. So a little bit more gimpy at the front, is that it? Yeah, and then at the back, it's like a cabbage bum style bikini. I will say actually as well, Sheen, I feel like on a lot of their bikinis, they don't have like really thongy bottoms. And like for me, that's great. I don't like that kind of vibe. I just think it looks a bit weird. I like this kind of style, but on a lot of their separates, they do do um, more thongy bikinis. So maybe if you wanted that kind of style, look on their separates, like their bottoms and then their tops and then kind of like mix and match that because a lot of them are like this, but I like this, so it's good for me. So yeah, that is basically everything that I have got from Sheen that I have been loving and I think looks so expensive and also is so good as like a designer kind of dupe. My favourite thing obviously being the two mule sliders. I literally, I can't believe that. So good. Uh, I hope that helps and if you were looking to like get anything from the video that I gave you, the justification and the clarification that you needed and You've ne you're now gonna go and buy it. So yeah, I hope that was um, helpful and that you got some inspiration if you needed any. Thanks for watching, bye.